What's up everyone, I am Jason C and today on The Master Room we have the latest batch from Bartstown Bourbon Company in the Discovery Series which is now number four. It contains a mystery mash bill that has been making some waves in the bourbon landscape the last year. There's no real decipherable conclusion as to where the mash bill comes from. But let's talk about that mystery mash bill and find out if Discovery 4 is better than Discovery 3, which was in my top 10 for 2020 today on The Mash and Drum. As you guys may or may not know, Barstown Bourbon Company has a remarkable facility producing 6 million proof gallons of spirit per year, making it one of the largest distilleries in the world very quickly. It was founded in 2013 with production hitting full stride in 2015. They started by filling their rickhouses with source spirits to support their construction, including brands like Jefferson's, High West, James E. Pepper, and many more. But where they're making their mark among bourbon enthusiasts is their ability to blend some amazing bourbons using a bevy of different mash bills and ages under their own distinctive brand. To say that the Discovery Series first three releases have been successful is a massive understatement. The Discovery 3 was a popular release among many bourbon reviewers, bloggers, and even myself as it made my top 10 of 2020 after having it late last year. Now Discovery Series number four is here and much like the previous three releases, is a blend of three sourced high aged Kentucky bourbons, a high rye 13 year at 74 corn, 18 rye and 8% malted barley, a 10 year at 75 corn, 13 rye and 12% malted barley, and a 15 year old 78.5% corn, 13% rye and 8.5% malted barley. It's bottled at 115 proof, it's non-chill filtered and retails for about 130 bucks. Bartstown Bourbon Company has an amazing way of blending these high aged bourbons together whether we know where they're coming from or not. So let's give it a go. This definitely smells like a really just beautiful Kentucky bourbon on the nose. There's some nice creme brulee notes here, some rich caramels, slight hint of kind of an apple cherry thing going on. Definitely a slight nuttiness note to it. But I gotta say for 115 proof with this type of age on it, the nose is lighter than I thought it would be doesn't come off as extremely, you know, in your face. It's a little bit more delicate. The creme brulee, you know, and that really nice vanilla custard type of, uh, you know, flavor profile coming out of the nose is probably the most distinctive that I'm pulling out here. A little bit more of the cherry. Definitely pick up some oak presence here too from, you know, those rich, older aged bourbons. Nice sweet oak though. It's delicate but robust at the same time. Really like the nose here. I think it's, it's definitely a little bit more delicate than I remember from Bartstown Discovery 3, which we're gonna compare it to shortly. Let's go for a sip, let's see what we get. Man, you get a lot of those toasted brown sugars up front. This was a lot, this is a lot spicier than I thought it was gonna be. Now coming off Discovery 3, which had a lot of MGP with that high rye mash bill built in, I didn't think that spice was gonna be as prevalent as it was in that first sip. Maybe it's just the first sip, the cinnamon, there's a lot of baking spices going on. Let's go for another sip. Man, getting more of that nice like oak char. A little bit smoky, just a tinge, not much. But yeah, more of that peanut, like nuttiness is coming through. But it's really overlaid by this like velvety caramel creme brulee type note going on. Then on top of that, it's laced with like just a touch of like chocolate and cherry. Mmm, a little bit of citrus there, not much. Maybe like a wave. Let's try another sip here. It's very rich in texture on the mouthfeel, but it's also not overly like powerful. 
Like I felt like, again, Discovery 3 really hits you with a lot of flavor, a lot of spice. This just is coming across as very nuanced, a little bit more delicate, but also very robust in flavor, which I'm really liking. It's kind of bringing kind of a different dimension to uh, the Bardstown series here when it comes to those flavors intertwining. There's definitely that nutty oakiness to it that I think coming is coming from that, that 15 year old mystery mash bill. Then on top of that, you're getting those baking spices, the cinnamon, which I think is from that 18% rye, the baking spices in there, usually that 18% is set to come from Barton, which do make, you know, spicier whiskeys, I think that those high rye whiskeys. One last sip here, and then we're gonna compare it to Discovery 3. This has a lot of spice in the back end. A lot of spice. It really lingers. The cinnamon, the baking spices, black pepper. This is this is a bourbon that's almost um, uh, it almost fools you a little bit because you 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 take that first sip and you're waiting for like it to kind of burst with flavor, and then all you know you get hit with the caramel, the cherry is there, but it's not like I said it's not overly like coating. It's very delicate, and then all of a sudden the finish comes. And it's long, it's lingering, it's spicy. That nuttiness is really coming through, I think, again, from that mystery mash bill. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting blend because you have, like I said, it's kind of light and delicate, yet super flavorful and sweet on the front. And then the back end, it just pounds you with that nuttiness, that spice. It's almost like it takes you through all the different variations that's blended in this whiskey. Um, so far, I'm a fan. I definitely like it. Let's compare it to Bartstown 3. All right, so here we have Discovery 3, which is 110 proof, so it's actually five proof points less than the 115 Discovery 4. Now, they have two of the same mash bills in Discovery 3 that, uh, that Discovery 4 also has. The big difference is that mystery mash bill. Instead of that in the Discovery 3, Discovery 3 actually has some MGP juice mixed in, which is that 21% high rye bourbon that's blended to go along with that 18% rye and also the 13% rye uh, mash bill that's in here as well. So let's do a quick comparison on the nose, see what we get. Huge difference on the nose. I mean, you really smell the MGP DNA in this blend. The citrus, the chocolate, the baking spice, the cinnamon just really punch through. I always remembered that in this, uh, in this bottle. Oh, I love it. They sell those like chocolate coated orange peels, like those candied orange peels that are coated in chocolate. That's what I totally get in Discovery 3. Yeah, just like citrus, lemon, mixed with a little bit of cherry. Definitely get some nice oak presence in there. Just a beautiful nose on that bourbon. All right, let's compare it to number uh, four. About well, four is just getting more desserty and more candy and more sweet. I mean, the noses are really different. This has become like completely like a butterscotch candy on the nose, just friggin' delicious. Oh, I could just live in the nose on this one. It's so good. That nuttiness is popping through a little bit more, but really it's getting sweeter. The creme brulee, the, like, that, the, um, like the top, that, that kind of toasted sugar aspect to it, really punching through to go along with that nuttiness. It's still keeping a little bit of that cherry chocolate note too. All right, let's go for a sip of the Discovery 3 and see how they compare. Here we go. Wow. Woo. Big difference what I remember here on the Discovery, um, on Discovery 4. Discovery 3, that spice I was talking about that you get on the back end of the 4 is throughout the whole experience on the 3. You get it up front, you get the black pepper, the cinnamon spice, the high rye. Man, ton of citrus again, a little bit of chocolate there, but you feel that tingling and that mouth coating aspect to it from front to back. Now let's go back to number four here. It's crazy, it's night and day. It's crazy. Discovery four is way sweeter. It's also a lot more delicate. You know, overall, you do get that spice on the back end, the nuttiness, the rye spice comes through, but throughout the experience, it's way more delicate than, uh, than Discovery number three was. This one, I think you get the nuance, those Kentucky bourbon notes, the older bourbon notes, where you get the great mix of oak, sweet oak, a ton of vanilla extract, the rich caramels. Again, the nuttiness, that 15 year is really making an impact on this, I feel like. It's really rounding out the rough edges here. 
just giving it just a very velvety and delicate, but also a flavorful experience. Not nearly as spicy as I'm getting in Discovery, uh, Discovery 3. Go for one more sip of each. I don't know which one I like more. There, I don't really think it's a matter of what I like more. I think it would be a matter of what I'm in the mood for because they're both very different experiences. Let's go back to uh, one more sip of Discovery 4 and then we'll kind of, I'll break down the differences and which one you should you know, be looking for. Here we go. This one is getting better each sip. I wasn't like too high on it in the very beginning as you saw in the beginning of the video. The more you sip this thing, the better it's getting. It's just getting more desserty and a little bit more nuanced and even though it's delicate, it's still very powerful and, and flavorful at the same time with a nice lingering finish. But the finish, it's long, but it's not like this spicy peppery finish like you get on the De Discovery 3. This is more like some really nice age, some leather, some tobacco, some nuttiness, really nice sweet oak. Both of these are really good. Okay, let's break this down. Now when it comes to the nose for these, the Discovery 3 is gonna bring you a little bit more spice, citrus, that MGP really comes through. If you like that, if you really like that MGP type of flavor profile that comes through, more citrus forward, more black pepper, definitely more spice forward, but some just beautiful flavors that kind of intertwine throughout the whole experience. Um, but really the nose for me is, is more spice and citrus. Then you compare it to the number four. The number four is candy in a glass. When you smell this thing, it is just all butterscotch, creme brulee, vanilla, sweet oak, some nuttiness, a little bit of chocolate and cherry there too, just a tad. Um, so the noses are completely different, but you know, both of them are pretty delicious. Now when it comes to the palate, again, both of these are just completely different. You have, again, that spicy component to the Discovery 3, which kind of lingers on and stays throughout the experience from sip to sip. It's more citrus, it's more chocolate, more pepper, a little bit more of that lingering spice finish. Whereas Discovery 4, you're getting a long lingering uh, spice here, but not in the same way you're getting from the Discovery 3. This is a little bit more nuanced, it's sweeter, it's nuttier. Again, I think that mystery Mashable that's blended in here is doing a huge part of that, but you still get some lingering spice, I think, from that high rye uh, Mashable that's also in there. Um, but again, I just think overall, this is sweeter and more delicate compared to what you got from Bartstown Discovery 3. Now when it comes to finish, I actually really prefer the finish in Discovery 4. Uh, it's, it's, it's as long as 3, but just in a different way. I think you just get more sweet flavors. It kind of holds on and lingers there. You do get some peppery spice on the very, very back end. Gives you a nice little warm Kentucky hug. Remember, this is 5 proof points higher than the Discovery 3. And even though it's more delicate overall on the palate, I still think it's bringing a little bit more flavor, especially on the back end. Um, I do think that the Discovery 3 is a little bit more consistent uh, as you sip it through, but I think that's a lot of that is because of the spiciness of it and that MGP high rye in there. I think if you're a fan of a little bit more delicate bourbons, uh, something that's not gonna kill you with spice, but you want all that candy and that sweet and that nice lingering spinach, dude, get Discovery 4 from Bardstown Bourbon Company. If that's your flavor profile, if you don't want all that spice, you just want sweet candy, you want a nice long finish with some really good age on it, slight nuttiness too, you're gonna absolutely love Bartstown Discovery 4. I highly recommend this one. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video as we review the new Bartstown Discovery 4 from Bartstown Bourbon Company. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Uh, let me know if you've had this one. Let me know what you think. Have you compared it to uh, Discovery 3? Did you get the same experience as I did? I think uh, anyone that just loves bourbon in general will absolutely love this one. It's a really great release. Another hitter from Barstown Bourbon Company and already one of my favorites in early 2021. So with that said, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Uh, I will see you next time on The Mash and Drum. Cheers, everybody.